A tense day at John F. Kennedy Airport on Wednesday. A plane loaded with more than 500 people landed with 100 people showing symptoms of a mysterious illness. Some of those victims brought to Jamaica Hospital where Nate Rogers is on the scene. Nate, what happened? Well, Bill, I'll tell you, it's been a very hectic day and a lot of activity here at Jamaica Hospital. Take a look at this video as several ambulances pulled in. Medical staff all wearing masks and scrubs, escorting the sick travelers into the hospital one by one. At least 10 people, including seven crew members and three passengers, were rushed here to Jamaica Hospital, all reporting flu-like symptoms. Those passengers were immediately isolated at the hospital when they arrived. It was very obvious that there are a lot of sick people. Um, people were coughing. The first thing I did when I got on the plane was actually ask the stewardess for a mask. She said that there were none on board, but it was that obvious and audible that people were really sick. One guy was vomiting and coughing and all, but we don't know what exactly happened. Mayor de Blasio's office says nine other people on board refused medical attention. This after Emirates Flight 203 from Dubai was quarantined at JFK Airport at 9.12 this morning. A total of 549 people were aboard the 14-hour flight. Roughly 100 passengers, including crew members, experienced coughing, vomiting, headaches, sore throats, and other fever symptoms. Why did they allow them on the flight? I sat with them for 13 hours. CDC officials worked alongside Port Authority, EMS, and other responders to evaluate the remaining travelers who were not ill. Officials still working to determine the cause of the outbreak. The mayor's office says all of the symptoms are pointing to the flu. One final note, Bill, according to Twitter, hip-hop icon Vanilla Ice was also on the flight. However, he was not one of those persons that became ill. Bill? Okay, thank you, Nate.